This is Mike Callahan, Dr. Fallfinder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how to save things to read later with Instapaper. We've all had it happen. We're busy. We're going across the web. We see an article we'd like to read, a recipe we'd like to try, a how-to we think might help somebody, and we just don't have time at that moment to read it. Well, with Instapaper, you don't have to. You can read it later. So I'm here on the Instapaper site. There's a link to it in the show note. The account is free. You click register. You can use an email address or create your own username. When you find something you want to read, you click the read later thing that you put in your bookmark toolbar and it saves it. Now I can log in to my account. You can see I have some things in here. You can archive it. You can Click the connection to see the article just as it is where you found it. You can check this box here to have articles automatically move to the archive after you've read them. You can print articles. And you can even go in and edit an article. Put in like a summary, notes to yourself. You can change the title, then save your changes. You can star items that are especially interesting, and here's your archive of things that you've read. So the articles aren't really gone. If you want to go back and refer to it, it's right there. There's also an app for the iPhone to use Instapaper right on your iPhone. There'll be a tutorial on that. So this is a great way to save those things that you'd like to have time to read to be able to read them later with Instapaper. And that's all there is to it.